XF Extreme Formula is a fairly simple racing game, although it sets itself apart from other racing games in some ways. In this video, we're going to go over what you need to know before jumping into a race. In XF, depth and complexity come from its main defining feature, going fast. Unlike modern racing games, in XF you accelerate with A instead of the right trigger. The triggers are now reserved for strafing. Turning is one of the most vital aspects of any racing game, and it's the same here. You can turn using the left analog stick. You can also increase your turning radius by releasing the accelerator and braking with B, although braking for a turn should only be used as a last minute resort. Another method to assist with turning is the strafe, activated by using the triggers. There are many use cases for strafing. You might use it with cornering or to help reach speed pads that are just out of reach, but be aware that strafing will decrease your speed very slightly. Knowing when and when not to use it is key to victory. The best way to break the sound barrier is to boost. In XF, vehicles are called hover jets, a hybrid between hovercraft, supersonic jets, and rockets. The dual mode jet engine present in most hover jets is able to store some of the oxygen or O2 that feeds into the engine intake for later use. When used, both O2 and fuel are combined directly at high pressures to boost the vehicle forward at great speeds. In the UI, the O2 bar is your boost meter, and it is replenished by either going over an O2 pad or through RAM. The RAM bar shows the amount of O2 your vehicle is collecting as it moves. The faster you go, the more O2 is collected. The red bar that is on top of the RAM bar is your overboosting meter. Overboosting is one of the most important factors in order to build speed. Every time you boost, you build up overboosting. The more overboosting you have, the faster your next boost will be. In practice, that means pulling off long chains of boosts and is key to going even faster. Speed pads will also give you some extra overboosting. The faster you go, the more boosts you can get, and the more you boost, the faster you can go. It's a positive feedback loop, and your job is to keep it going during a race. When choosing your vehicle, you should pay close attention to its stats. What those stats mean might be a little different than what you're used to in other games. Your vehicle's weight only really matters when it comes to collisions with other vehicles. Unless you're going faster than other vehicles, colliding with heavier vehicles will have a greater impact on your speed rather than theirs. This is your overall engine power and is pretty straightforward. The stronger the engine, the faster it can go. This stat is how easily your vehicle is able to cut through air, as in your theoretical maximum speed under an atmosphere. This is the hardest stat to understand, but all you really need to know is that vehicles with higher aero stat are capable of much higher speeds than those with low aero. That being said, this stat doesn't mean the vehicle is fast per se, as in it may only be possible to reach said speeds with heavy boosting or speed pads. In fact, to have such high aero stats, vehicles will often compromise other stats like engine power. This stat is a combination of a couple things how strong the vehicle's boost is, the amount of O2 gained from RAM, and how easy it is for that vehicle to gain more overboosting. This stat has a direct correlation with your turning radius. Often the stat is the same across most vehicles, but some will sacrifice it for the sake of speed. Vehicles with lower stability will slide around while turning. This has to do with how much your vehicle slides around when on off-road terrain. On the top left of the UI are some stats. For normal racing, most of these can be easily ignored, but for those who want to push past their limits, it's best to give them at least a little bit of consideration. There is one special case where this should not be ignored. Racing in the vacuum of space. While in vacuum, your vehicle will use its O2 reserves to propel itself forward. Because of this, you will be unable to boost. However, since there is no atmosphere getting in the way of your vehicle, you will continue to accelerate endlessly, assuming you don't crash. While we haven't discussed everything there is to know about XF, with this knowledge, you should be ready to tackle a few races on your own. So what are you waiting for? A demo is available right now on Steam. Please enjoy.